This video is about Bohr model. Bohr developed a quantum model for the hydrogen atom. The Bohr model was based on the following assumptions. The electron in a hydrogen atom travels around the nucleus in a circular orbit. The energy of the electron in an orbit is proportional to its distance from the nucleus. The farther the electron is from the nucleus, the more energy it has. Only a limited number of orbits with certain energies are allowed. In other words, the orbits are quantized. Light is absorbed when an electron jumps to a higher level and emitted when an electron falls into a lower energy orbit. The energy of the light emitted or absorbed is exactly equal to the difference between the energies of the orbits. As you can see in this model here, Every time the electron absorbs energy, it goes up to a higher energy level. If it keeps absorbing energies, it will end up leaving the orbits. If an energy is given to an electron, it will jump to a level where it corresponds to that energy. If the energy is emitted as a light, the electron will fall down to the original orbit. If red energy is absorbed, it will take the electron to a level which is lower than blue, indigo, and then violet. This explains the formula of energy which is equal to hc over wavelength. Energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength. The higher the wavelength, the lower the energy. Red has the highest wavelength and therefore has the lowest energy. When the electron falls down to the original level, it will emit back the energy absorbed which is going to be in the form of red light. Absorbing a blue energy or a photon will take the electron to a higher level than a red photon. When this electron falls down to the original level which is called ground level, it's going to emit back the blue energy or the blue photon. The absorption of these different energies will result in a spectrum which is in this case going to give the hydrogen spectrum. The hydrogen spectrum, it will not be similar to the visible where you can see all colors. It will only show the different energies absorbed by hydrogen. In this case, hydrogen will only absorb red, blue, indigo, and violet. As you can see from here, the wavelength of the red photon is the highest. Therefore, it has the lowest energy. However, the violet photon has the, the lowest wavelength and therefore it has the highest energy. How does it work with the sunlight? The sun has a white light which contains all colors and therefore all different wavelengths and resulting in all energies. Here you can see the spectrum of hydrogen versus the spectrum of helium versus the spectrum of mercury and the spectrum of neon versus the white light.